basketball you betcha i'm back it's the daily trainer ready to give you what you need every day to succeed in the game that you love to play each and every day in every way here we go so this is what i got to say about this okay we are working on coming off those screens and being chased and hounded down by those elite college level defenders those nil money makers those guys who are worth a lot of money right or it could be wrong because you could be the person that's worth a lot of money and that's the reason they're chasing you and you're making these plays so coming off of these screens Typically, these could be pin downs or even coming off to curl. Just depends on the situation. I got Cole working on that because that's what he does in their offense. And then it doesn't hurt uh, Dev's footwork um, as he tries to become a better shooter to work on this, even though he's going to be putting the basketball on the ground a little bit more. Now, it's going to vary from mid range to the perimeter and sometimes it's going to be a catch and putting the basketball down on the ground and creating more separation so it just depends on the scenario sometimes we mix it up sometimes we don't but in this particular one i just want you know dev to rep it out and then i kind of let cole freelance as the game varies for him each possession he comes off of these type of picks so It still goes hand in hand with everything I've been saying. You still have to be consistent in your footwork, be consistent in your flow. And then the speed needs to be there because the balance option is going to be different when you are tired. You're not running hard to go hard through the drill. You're running hard to see how your body reacts after a couple misses, um, even after a couple makes. I mean, how do you feel? right everything is based on a feeling when you're playing in the game of basketball so you guys have to stop thinking that you know i need to see the basketball go in no matter what speed i go in order to create success for myself a lot of it needs to be repetition the right way yes but then you need to get going okay because in the game a lot of us don't have the ball in our hand to control the pace that we like to play at. When you come off a screen, majority of the time, unless you're very crafty with how you stop and the angles that you take on coming off the screen, you're going to have to pretty much come off as fast as possible. So really coming off, really coming off tight and just working on that momentum and those steps are so important um, in this drill. And we did it on both sides. I think uh, someone was in the gym, so we flipped uh, sides on the court. But um, same exact drill as we, uh, again, we're looking at the angle he's coming off of. Sometimes he's going to have to put it on the ground. Sometimes he's not. And one thing that um, was explained to me was when he hits shots, sometimes they'll shoot another guy at him just to make sure he can't even get to the spot. So... Sometimes you will pop out even more, catch, and then be looking for a pass. We don't, we didn't do that drill because we're just working on his offense. But there's, there's other options to look for when, um, like I said, being chased down like this. So one thing I did notice is the more he did it, he started to fade. Okay, so with that fade, you have to understand it was back what I was talking about just a minute ago with the balance option. Okay, so he fades a little bit right um, at times, and then he also will uh, fade in his step back, which is normal for most just because of the speed he's going at. But again, you have to break down and really focus on the load aspect of your shooting. Okay, Um, that's going to help with any imbalance that you have. Also, what I forgot to mention on this is with the mid range curl option, you know, you're coming right off, boom, you catch. You hit it regular, boom, you you hit the dribble, you create the space, boom, you uh, hit the dribble, you step back, you create space that way. Then on the three-point line, there's times where you have to catch, and then you have to come back inside the perimeter to get that shot off and create that space with that defender on your back. 
Let's keep that in mind. And then there's also, which I'm not sure if I did it in this particular workout, there's also a catch and rip back option. So if they cheat under the screen, not only can you pop, shoot the three, but if the three ball's not falling, you can catch, rip through, get to that baseline, or even catch one dribble, step back, and create that same space to where they're never gonna get to you based on how they have to run over the screen. So keep all that in mind when doing this drill, okay? It's not always everything you see. Sometimes what you're hearing from me um, will help in this drill. Again, one thing that I want you to watch is the consistency of Cole's shot and a little bit of, again, while Dev is working to be the better shooter, um, where his inconsistencies lie. Okay, that's why I always do like having two people work out together because you can kind of see the mechanics and see not so much what you don't want to do, but just what can be done to uh, fix that person's shot and then kind of help your own shot because you're kind of playing coach in that way. So that's kind of how you want to think about it when you're doing it, almost like you're a coach and you're helping these guys. That is uh, going to be the basics of, you know, setting your fundamentals and, and getting your shot right the way you want to, okay? And then lastly, uh, with this workout, the biggest thing is um, confidence. We won't get that many shots on the run. Most coaches won't want you to take a lot of these shots, but you have to work them over and over again to know exactly what shot works for you okay remember there's so many things that are in the game of basketball but you will also see the same things over and over based on the scenario and based on the type of player you are so I, again i just want to prepare these guys in that situation and uh you know just preparing them for all of the i guess variables that they're gonna see that's the and that's the best way I can put that now basketball you keeping in mind as we continue this series of training I still want to give you information on how to be recruitable how to be a better player and someone came out with an episode that was really good that kind of broke down what it was to be a pro you know I think we're going too far ahead and even talking about anybody being a pro on basketball you as we need to continue to set the foundation of good work. So I'm going to break down what it is to be a pro, but also what it is to be a college athlete, because it's pretty much looking for the same type of qualities in a player. Um, just pro is mm, a little bit more extreme because it is the top tier talent in the world, right? And even though our college players are some of the top players in the world, they still have to compete against those who aren't in college in other countries. So, um, they've also been doing that with traveling and doing some different things. So basketball, you, I thank you for coming through as you always do. Remember someone's always working. Are you?